welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be testing out cheap prom dresses. Now, prom season's coming up. I'm actually really excited because it's my prom this year. So prom dresses tend to be quite pricey. Like the ones I'm looking at right now are like 600 to 800 pound, which is quite expensive for a dress for a day. Um, so yeah, I'm testing out cheap and affordable prom dresses from like Misguided and Little Thing. So yeah, and I'm just going to see if they look expensive or can actually wear them to prom. Because I know some places say like prom dresses, but they don't really look like prom dresses when you get them. But we're going to test them out. So I've got a few from Misguided and then some from Pretty Little Thing. They are selling out pretty quick. So I do think a few people are going to be wearing some from Pretty Little Thing and Misguided to prom. Because I've had to get them in different orders when my size come back in. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to test them out and see whether they look nice. So the first dress that I picked up was from Misguided and it's this red, it's like a quite a dark red um, racer neck dress with this detailing on the side. I've not actually seen this on a dress before, especially not on prom, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. But it just ties and you can go as tight as you like or as loose as you want, depends how much of this area you want to show it's really cute and i love the color it then also has a slit up the leg which is really nice so yeah i'm excited to try that on so this is what the dress looks like on i'm literally obsessed got the little bruising detail on which i think kind of gives the illusion of a smaller waist at the same time do you think i think it kind of gives that illusion so if you want to look like you've got a smaller waist then this is a perfect dress for you and I absolutely love the colour. The camera is slightly making it a little bit brighter than it is, but it's not too different. It's just a tad bit darker and real, I'll have to say. Um, but yeah, absolutely obsessed with this. And I feel like when you're at prom, you wouldn't even notice this is cheap. And I will put all the prices and sizes on the screen for you all. But yeah, you can't really, t I think this was around like 30 something pound, but you can't really tell it's 30 pound. Or can you? I don't think you can. I think it looks easily like some of the prom just at like 100 or 200 pounds and it touches the floor for me which is perfect because I'm at like five foot seven and a half, five eight. I'm not 100% sure at this point, I don't really know my height. It's quite heavy as well so the material is quite thick and like quite weighty. It's not too bad, like it's not going to be too heavy to walk in and speaking of walking, it's so easy to walk in. Like I hate dresses that you cannot walk in. So it's perfect and the little slip for your picture. I'll show you the full length. I will have to go on a stool. And it's still not showing in it. Oh my God, what can I do? <laughs> not a clue. I feel like with these cheap dresses, to make them look a bit more expensive, you could just add things to them. Like on, if you've got a plain dress, you could literally add a glittery belt or these ones, you could add some jewelry and just kind of spice it up a bit. Some nice heels and a nice little clutch. And I just feel like it will make your dress look so much more expensive because you don't actually need an expensive dress to look expensive. You can just jazz it up and make it look expensive. Fake it till you make it. Now the next dress is from Pretty Little Thing. You've probably seen Molly May in it for her mum's wedding. And it's just this navy blue crossover like corset style top dress. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this already. And then it's also got the open back, which I think looks really nice on prom dresses. These are so difficult to show because they're so long. And it's just got a slight little trail. It's also really stretchy at the back as well. And then it's just got a zip. So it's very easy to get on. So this is what the dress looks like on. I definitely could have sized down a bit because it is slightly baggy. As you can tell, it doesn't really flatter me that well. Um, it is super duper nice, but it just needs to be a bit more fitting than just baggy because you see it is very loose so and i love the crossover detail i think that's really nice and the corset just again if it's tighter it'd look a lot nicer but the color the color is on point it's so nice lengthwise it touches the floor for me it has just an extra bit on the floor which means if i wore heels it still touched the floor and i'm five foot seven and a half five foot seven i was trying to work out earlier I'm a range from five foot seven to five foot eight. So I don't know what I am just making up at this point. It's really hard to show the length of it because I don't actually know how to show it. So that is what the trail looks like. It is super duper hard to show you. you know, then it's got the open back, which I really like. And yeah, I absolutely love this dress. But as far as cheap rum dresses go, 
This is very nice. It does not look that cheap. I saw someone have a problem in this. I wouldn't even think it's from Pretty Little Thing or Misguided. I think if you put a silver bag with it, some silver shoes, you're good to go. Ready for pom. Now the next dress that I picked up was from Misguided. It's very similar to the other dress I've just done. Where it's actually the exact same style. I have three dresses that are the exact same style. But this is from Misguided, so it's slightly different, but it's pretty much the same. And it's just this royal blue crossover dress. Absolutely love the crossover, like you know. It goes like that, and it's got an elasticated back. It doesn't have a zip on this one, so I'm... Um, I mean, it's quite stretchy, so hopefully we can get it on. Um, and oh my god, it's got a trail. So this dress has got a trail at the back. It's got a trail, which just adds to the dress and makes it so much better. Um, so love that and the colour, as you can tell, I love the like royal blue, cobalt blue type of thing. You can't tell the difference what one's cobalt and which one's royal. I swear they're the same colour. But anyways, this one's classed as royal blue. Um, yeah, this one's slightly hard to get on. I do look like I've got a sling right now. <laughs> the dress looks like on, absolutely obsessed. Love the colour. This part does need to be a little bit tighter, but I haven't got really much there to fill. Yeah, I would personally get that tightened. But other than that, love the dress, absolutely love it. It's super tight fitting, which is really nice. And it's got a very long trail, but it's not too long. Love the trail. Do the walk test, is it good for walking in? It's past the walking test, it's good to go. Love the colour. Love the fit, love the dress, pretty much I would wear this to prom. Don't know if you can see it, but that's how long the trail is. See, because it's on the floor, this is the trail. Oh, I nearly went then. But it's just open back, but it hasn't got the zip. So I think that's why I struggled to get it on before, because it's a very tight, so when you get it on, it kind of just... And then you're kind of struggling to get your shoulders in and everything, but... I absolutely love the open back. The next dress that I picked up was from Pretty Little Thing and it's this black racer neck style dress with an open back that's got like crossover, which I think is super duper cute. And yeah, not many people go for black dresses, but I absolutely love black prom dresses. I think they look so nice, especially if your hair's really dark as well. I just think it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, picked up a black one. And there is quite a few racer neck styles going around, as you can tell with my haul very racer neck and crossy neck -y. this one crosses over the back and then it ties as well and it's just a straight down dress which is super cute so it doesn't look to be too see-through i know when i've got a light it tends to shine a little bit through but it doesn't look too bad so hopefully fingers crossed it's not see-through you don't really want to see through dress on your prom day do you when every camera's on you um so yeah so this is what it looks like on Absolutely love it. It's a racer neck with a slit at the side. I didn't actually realise the slit at the start, but it's just got a slit on one side, which I really like. Then the back has like a cross and then you tie it around here. And it just got better. Are you ready? It has adjustable straps, so you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. Mind blown. Um, but yeah, I really just found that out. But again, I wouldn't question this dress thinking it's cheap. Well, I don't really look at people's dresses and go, that's cheap, that's expensive, that's not, that's not. But it doesn't look like you just picked it up off misguided or pretty little thing. And the slit adds to it so much. Like, just think about it. If it was just, oh, if it was just a dress like that, pretty basic. Add the slit, just ramped it up a little bit more. And then the back just adds to it so nice. It also has a zip down the side, which is super handy because it's easy to get to. Because on the back, it's very difficult to join yourself. And I think if you want to jazz it up, spice it up a little bit more, you could add like a belt. But I think a thin little silver sparkly belt can make this outfit look so nice. Add a little bit of jewellery and a nice clutch, some heels, and you're good to go. It, and it's easy to walk in. It's past the walking test, it's past the looking test, it's past the fitting test. So pretty much all these dresses are perfect for prom so if you're on a prom budget which i feel like most of us will be because prom can be very pricey um then these dresses are perfect now the next dress that i got was from pretty little thing and it's the same as the molly may blue one i'm going to call it the molly may blue one um and it's just in pink it's like a blush 
style pink it's really cute um and it just again has the corset style top and then it just crosses over at your neck and has the little cute bunny things and yeah and this one again has the zip it's basically the same dress just in a bunch of different colors is pretty much what i got um it's quite hard to find cheap prom dresses to be fair and again it has a little trail it's only a mini trail but that little trail makes a difference and yeah very excited to try it on so this is what it looks like on i'm not 100 percent keen on the color i don't think it suits me that well i feel like it would definitely suit others better just, it just doesn't look like great it kind of washes me out a bit i feel i feel like it just makes me look super duper pale I don't know, it's just, I just don't think this dress complements my skin colour. I feel like it just kind of makes me look really pale and like, I don't know, I just don't really like it. Believe it or not, this is the same dress as the other one, same size. Um, that one was a petite, this one's a normal. And this one's a bit tighter on the waist than the other one. Doesn't make sense, not a clue why. I do love the corset part, I think that's really nice and just adds to the dress. It's just not for me this dress the color just not that great but i do think if you added a little white rose like they're doing prom um it could look super cute so if you're still stuck on prom dresses and you want a cheap one these dresses perfect for you so that was it for this video guys if you'd enjoy please give a big thumbs up make sure to comment down below what your favorite dress was mine was the royal blue and the red and let me know if you wear one of these thank you for watching bye <laughs>